Bob Dylan, the symbol of the 60s. To uh, who? To uh, the youth of the 60s. Wasn't, who says wasn't, that? Wasn't you the symbol? I didn't ever say that. Do you think there is a, any difference between you in the 60s and the Bob Dylan today? I couldn't tell you. Is there a difference between you in the 60s and you of today? Oh, I think so, yes. Uh, don't you think that your music have developed from the 60s and from... Possibly. The 60s? When you are around and touring as you are now, uh, do you meet, uh, is it in another audience than you met in the 60s? No, it's usually the same. I read somewhere that you wrote Blowing in the Wind in 10 minutes, is that right? Probably. Just like that? Yeah. Where did it come from? It just came, it came from, uh, it was like, um, right out of that wellspring of uh, creativity, I would think, you know. Pretty clear what you wanted to say in the 60s. What does Bob Dylan, poet and preacher, write poetry and preach about now? It's the same message, really. It's just that people, um, it's not so much me that's changed, it's the crowd. Oh, it's the audience. Oh, because I'm still doing what I'm doing. Oh, you, you ask any of them if they still are. And nine times out of ten, they wouldn't be. I, don't, I bet uh, you'd find that to be true, don't you think? They've uh, said that you must be the ultimate beatnik. What do you think? <laughs> just, just, I won't tell anybody what you say. What do you think? Not your personal comment. No, yeah. what do you think? I have no opinion about that. Well, why? Because I haven't heard you sing, actually. You've never heard me sing. <laughs> and here you are sitting here and asking me all these questions. Well, you know? that's my job. Yeah, well. So I was always in there for keeps when I was a little boy. And I always knew I was going to be doing this the rest of my life, as long as I was going to be alive. So for anybody else to be disappointed in this or that on, on me, I mean, that's ridiculous. I, I, I don't pay much attention to that. Uh, because I'll be, I'll be doing this. For, for as long as I'm around, you know? And uh, all the people I admired, they've all done it all the way to the end, too. It's, it's all I do. And um, so, you know, I just keep doing that thing. Well, I'm not a god of folk songs. I'm not a folk songs. I suppose what I want to know is when you write a song, am I right about you doing it like that? I mean, no. do you how, do, you know, how do you... Many ways. There are stories with visual images, that's what I'm saying, like with a, a lot of... Uh, I, I don't know whether they are. They're, they're, they are they're whatever they are to whoever's listening to them. Uh, no, I don't do those things. I, I don't have any plan. I don't have any uh, set way of writing songs. Do you think of yourself primarily as a singer or as a poet? Well, I think of myself more as a song and dance man, you know. <laughs> don't you think your first records were much better than the ones that you do now? Who said that? This one here. <laughs> this fellow here. You? Ask him if he's American. Huh? Are you American? <laughs> I'm French. Well, that's why you probably think the first records are better. When you're in Stockholm, if you could explain a bit more about yourself and your kind of songs, what do you think of the kind of protest song tag? I don't, uh, I'm, uh, oh, God. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and do that. I'm, I, I've, uh, you know, I've been up all night, I've taken some pills, and uh, uh, I've, uh, I've eaten bad food, and I've read the ba wrong things, and I've been out for a hundred mile an hour car rides, and uh, I'm just not going to sit here and talk about myself as a protest singer or anything like that.